Hi everyone, it's Jody with Strength and Wisdom Tarot, here to do mid-April readings for all zodiac signs. They are general readings, so if they apply, that's great. If they don't, maybe next time. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. Love you guys, you rock! And if anyone would like a private reading with me, all that info will be in the box below. I'm just going to make a short uh, announcement that I am going to Connecticut on April 29th and um, doing tarot card readings at a psychic fair that is a grand opening for my friend's wellness spa. So anyone in the area is welcome to join. There will be a uh, link in the box below um, so you can check it out. And also if you would like to check out my um, my mystery boxes and pendulums done by Thistle. So this reading is going to be for Gemini. Let's see what's going on with you in middle of April. Whoa, Gemini. You have seven major arcana in this reading. Woof. So let's dive right into this. At the bottom of the deck, Gems, you have the Two of Swords. This is about being indecisive. You have the moon in the card here, so the moon likes to hide things. Maybe you don't have all the info you need to make a decision. Could be turning a blind eye. In gems, it could be not wanting to see the truth. So let's see how that applies here. Got a lot of stuff going on. We're going to start off with the fool. Gems, this is the beginning of the beginning. He's the number zero in the tarot deck. He's lighthearted, he's charismatic, he's taking a leap of faith, he's taking a chance, a risk. Going down a brand new road and happy to go. And what's crossing to help or hinder, you have the Ten of Wands. And this is taking all your know-how, all your knowledge, all your experiences and moving forward. Gems, Ten being at the end of a cycle, this guy's ready to drop these burdens. Like, it's funny because you go from 0 to 10 in 2.2. So, Gems, you're ready to leave something that's burdensome behind. You want this new road. You know, you're ready to take this chance, this leap of faith. Whether it's in love, whether it's in a friendship, a partnership, any ship. But you're pro and conning, I feel, in your mind. Should I do it? I want to do it. Maybe I'll wait. And it's funny because under this card, there you go, pro and conning gems. But you know, gems, it's time. It's time to... Do something out of the ordinary. It's time to release these burdens and do for yourself the things that make you happy. In your foundation, Gems, you have the Emperor, King of all kings. He's about structure. He's about stability. He's about drawing a line in the sand because that's where respect is earned and given. And he, he demands respect. He is the successful business person. He has a great foundation. You know, everything is rock solid concrete the way it's supposed to be done. And this being in your foundation about having a firm foundation. Gems, whatever this road is that you want to go on, okay, it seems like it's getting off on the right foot for the right reasons. Now, what's crowning your whole reading, Gems, is you. Get the Gemini card of the lovers. Now, of course, it's that 
deep connection, that bond, soulmate, that you could have with somebody. And that applies to a friendship, long-term friendship, a partnership, and a love ship. But the other side of this card is life-changing decisions. Making a decision that's going to affect you long-term. Maybe you're changing careers. You know, and it's a big leap from what you're coming from, for what you're doing. But you want to do it. You could be starting your own business here, and that would be taking a leap of faith and doing something on your own. And again, that will change your whole world. Because in your recent past, Gems, speaking of change, you have death. And death demands transformation. Something's dying off and not serving you anymore, Gems. Old situation. Habits. You know, maybe a crowd of people that you hang around with. Something. Gems, that's very burdensome. And you've been carrying this for a long time. And that's about to change. When death comes into the picture... It transforms a situation into another one. And something that no longer serves you falls to the wayside. So in your recent past, Gems, maybe you have been wanting change, needing something to change, desiring something to change, and you didn't know how to change it. Well, guess what, Gems? It's changing. And this change will always be permanent, as death is. But this is, you know, life-changing stuff here, Gems. This is not, you know, just wondering, you know, what shirt you're going to wear. This impacts the rest of your life. So I can see how you would want to make sure of yourself of making the right decision. Absolutely. Now going into your future, Gems, you have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Now in the upright, he's the fastest knight out of all of them. He comes in with this communication, this clarity. That ball of light on his sword is his truth. You know, and if they cut you with the truth, so be it. They're not very emotional. But in the reverse, it's like something's not being communicated. You're not hearing back from something or you're not getting feedback. Not yet. Because this could very well be just temporarily delayed until something changes. Until your situation turns. Gems, I do feel that you are wanting change. And I do believe that you're making change. Because you know that something has to change. And this communication that hasn't come in yet might have you worried. It might have you thinking... Am I doing the right thing? Hmm. I do believe that this is just a delay. Now, how people see you in your environment, Jemmy's, you have the Hierophant, also known as a Taurus. But having faith and having hope, doing things in a conventional way could be higher institutes of learning. Religion might be a factor here. But this is how people see you, Gems. They see you as, you know, 
having faith and hope in your situation that's going to change. Not giving up. Definitely. Maybe you're going about something a traditional way. Like textbook. This came to my head. But Gems, I do believe that you believe that you're going to take this leap of faith and change something. Change the, the course of your life. In your environment. Gems, you have the Nine of Cups. This is a yes card. A wish being fulfilled card in your environment. So, Gems, if you were wishing for a communication, it's coming. Like I said, something might need to change first. Maybe you have to have more faith in yourself. That you are going to make this change. Whether it's inside you, around you. But you'll get that wish. You'll get the wish. In your hopes and fears. Gems, you have the high priestess. And this is all about intuition. She trusts her intuition. She lets her intuition guide her. Some say she's the keeper of secrets. But make no mistake about the high priestess. She knows a lot more than what she says. Gems, you could be hoping that your intuition's right. That whatever this is that you're waiting for is going to come soon. Trust your intuition. It's not going to steer you wrong here, Gems, by no means. By no means. Because your outcome card, more major, you have the star card. Here is your wish coming true. Look at here, Gems. The universe has, or is, granting you a wish. Sometimes, this is, you know, things going on behind the scenes. A blessing in disguise that later on you find out that, hey, that was a good thing. It's a healing energy. And it's also a card to let you know that your guides in the universe, they hear you and they're with you. So Gems, no matter what you're going on, what's going on in your life here, and you're trying to make this change and go after something new or go down a new path. You'll be successful. You get the universe on your side, Gems. So that's what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel. And I'll see everybody back here real soon. Take care.